The smart farm really uh, comprises of many uh, uh, automations and uh, information technology. So when you see automations, uh, it involves uh, uh, sensor-based uh, systems, and then uh, it involves uh, software programs uh, to 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 get values from the sensors. You have to analyze that, and uh, uh, to give this analysis. Uh, it must have a software program. So a smart farm in a per se is that uh, it is based on Internet of Things. And, uh, anywhere you can diagnose your farm, uh, there is a data available for you to decide. Classic example is the vertical farms. Uh, 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 the the uh, more controlled environment farms. Uh, we call it vertical farms because uh, some some uh, rather, what we have done here is, if you know the container van, uh, you can uh, raise vegetables there. You can plant there. Uh, you control the environment, the temperature. You control the uh, water nutrients. You control the the uh, irrigation system. Uh, that is a classic example of a smart farm. Uh, we call it precision farming. I propose that Department of Agriculture should have a technicians. Uh, uh, that is knowledgeable to uh, share this information to the farmers and train the farmers. For example, how to use drone. Uh, a farmer has difficulties on that. But then you know, even children can use drone. For as long as there is an expert that will tell them on how to use this, it's easier. One important thing is, um, EI and robotics should not be afraid of. Okay? They are there to help us. Uh, the, the technology is there for the good of humanity. My advice to the farmers, do not stop learning on how to use these things.